Okay, welcome to the uh, session on the second, uh, well, it's the first paper invited to the Journal of Cryptology. Uh, so it's a pretty good honor. And um, this is about elliptic curve, efficient elliptic curve cryptography, which I like. And uh, the authors are Sabyachi Karati and Palash Saka. And Sabyachi is from, uh, there's a PhD in India, but he's now a postdoc in Calgary. And uh, I'm going to give him the microphone. So there we go. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Stephen, for the introduction. Uh, this work, as Stephen said, is basically on uh, efficient and scalar multiplication using Kumar line over large parameters. As you know, this uh, elliptic curve cryptography was introduced in 1985, and from then till now, lots of public key schemes are implemented and designed based on these algebraic curves. And the, because of the efficiency and security these curves provides. And the security of these protocols are based on the well-known hard problem, elliptic curve vestibular problem. And suppose that we have a elliptic curve, there are two points P and Q and a scalar A and they are related in such a fashion. Then the hard problem is that if you are given P and Q, you have to find the A. On the other hand, if you are given P and A and you have to compute the Q, then this operation is known as scalar multiplication and this multi uh, operation is the building block of all the elliptic curve based uh, protocols. Now when we use the algebraic curves in cryptography, normally we concern about ourselves what genus we should use, what type of form, the underlying field we should use and whether endomorphism is possible or if possible whether should we use it or not. Now in our work we have Basically, uh, focus on a particular setup, we call it conservative setup, where the genus of the curve is 1, underlying field is the prime large field, and we do not use endomorphism. Here, I have listed some of the curves which are proposed in the last few years, where first few curves are in the conservative setup. Among these curves, NIST curve uh, P256 was widely used through over uh, at least uh, one to two decades. Uh, for uh, to achieve 128 bit security. But after Snowden controversy in 2013, people started looking for an alternative. And among all the other curves, CAR 25519 has emerged as one of the most popular choice in the conservative setup. Here I list some of the uses of CAR 25519. You can see that libraries like OpenSSH, OpenSSL to applications like Facebook Manager, WhatsApp, Tor, all these things. Uh, applications are using CAR 2519 for gain security. Now, in this work, we explored the idea of Kumar line, which was basically proposed by Gordian Luby in 2009. And in our work, we proposed three alternative, three Kumar lines, which may be a faster alternative for CAR 2519. And these Kumar lines are defined by Riemann theta function in genus 1, and this is the definition of the Riemann theta function. Where xi1 and xi2 are characteristic, known as characteristics, come from the rational fields. W is a complex number and tau is a complex number with positive imaginary part. Now, if we fix the tau and choose the characteristics from 0 and half, then from the definition of the Riemann theta function, we can have these four theta functions. And these four theta functions are interrelated among themselves by these identities. Now, we, I define the Kumar line. First, we fix a tau, which has a positive imaginary part, and P1 defines a projective line over the complex field. Then, a Kumar line associated with tau is defined by the map phi from C to uh, P1, where theta1 and theta2 construct the points on the Kumar line. And theta1 is the x coordinate, and theta2 is the z coordinate. Another way to define the Kumar line by these two constants, a square and b square. And for the arithmetic purpose on the Kumar line, we need two more uh, theta constants, capital A square and b square. And these two theta constants can be computed from these two theta constants using the theta identity 1 as given here. Now, also, these theta identities defines the arithmetic on the Kumar line. And for arithmetic, we need two particular operations, doubling operation and addition operation. Now, 
Here P is a point and 2P is the double uh, of this point. So this is the arithmetic of uh, how we compute the doubling. Here the doubling operation takes input of the square coordinate of P and outputs the square coordinate of 2P. On the other hand, if we want to compute the addition on Kumar line, by, uh, but the knowledge of P and Q are not sufficient data. We need the knowledge of P minus Q in order to compute the value of P plus Q. That is why this addition operation, also known as differential addition operation, it takes input the square coordinate of P, Q and P minus Q and outputs the uh, square coordinate of P plus Q. Suppose that P and R are two points on the Kumar line and N is a scalar and P and R are related in this fashion that is R is equal to NP. Then we compute the scalar multiplication using Montgomery style uniform ladder uh, as given in this algorithm which takes input the square coordinate of P and output the square coordinate of R. Now here this shows one particular ladder step on the uh, Kumar line. The latter step can also be seen in this way, where this H stands for Hadamard transformation. This, while this part computes the differential addition, this part computes the doubling operation. Also, you can visualize the diagram in this fashion, where each ellipse or the block contains four independent same operation or same sequence of operation, which can be computed in parallel. On the other hand, this is one ladder step on card to 50 and 90, which is basically a Montgomery card. Now, notice that this ladder step does not has the symmetricity which the Kumar uh, uh, ladder step on Kumar line has. So, this makes the Kumar line a better and suitable choice for SID implementation than the card to 50 and 90. But, as the Kumar line does not form a good group, uh, group itself, uh, so uh, we define the security of Kumar line through the associated legendary curve. If we define the legendary curve this way, then the associativity can be computed this fashion, where mu is computed by the defining parameter a square and b square in this fashion. And psi here gives the mapping from Kumar line to uh, legendary electric curve, which takes the input of the square coordinate of a point on uh, Kumar line and outputs an x coordinate on the legendary curve. And this is the inverse mapping. But the problem is that this mapping site itself does not preserve the consistency of scalar multiplication on the Kumar line and the legendary curve. So for that purpose, we need this particular point of order 2, uh, mu 0 on the legendary curve. And this is the consistency diagrams which shows how psi along with this T2 preserve the consistency of scalar multiplication over the uh, Kumar line and the legendary curve. And these diagrams also gives us the equivalence of the security among the Kumar line and the legendary curves. Now, you have noticed that all the theta identities and the arithmetic I have presented till now is a complex field. But in cryptography, we prefer to use finite fields. But uh, by Lexus principles, all these theta identities and mappings are equally applicable over large prime fields. Based on this theory, we propose three concrete Kumar lines, K1, K2, and K3, over three distinct primes fields uh, defined by this A square B square pair. And notice that these values are small values. This slide contains the comparison of different features of the Kumar lines and three most, most important. Uh, um, cards, uh, genus 1 cards in conservative setup. And this Kumar lines will uh, provide security approximately 128 bit, uh, sorry, 126 bit, and the cofactors are small, and also the base points are small. So, for implementation details, uh, I would like to give you the overview due to lack of time, I won't go through the, all the details, um, where uh, we have represented each prime field <coughs> element using uh, any link polynomial where theta serves as a radix. During the latter step on the Kumar line, we have used ADX2 in T6 for parallelization and the elements are represented using these values of n and theta. On the other hand, when we compute uh, the apparent coordinate from the projective coordinate, we have used assembly language and the values have been used for n and theta are like this. 
Now you have noticed that the primes we have used for our implementation are generalized Marcelli prime of the form 2 to the power m minus delta. And for this uh, type of prime, we can use this lazy reduction method for modular reduction. Uh, but the problem is that after each reduction, there are exactly delta elements which can have two distinct uh, representations in the prime field. But that does not create any problem with the arithmetic. So we find the um, distinct implementation, unique implement, uh, implementation of the um, prime fields at the end of the scalar multiplication. Now this is the overview of the um, uh, multiplication, how we computed the uh, multiplication of two prime, uh, two prime field elements. For the prime field 251.9, the each elements are represented by 9 limb polynomial. So we can break down this polynomial in this fashion. So and we can write the multiplication in this way. Now notice that this is a multiplication of two integers. This is a multiplication of two 8 limb polynomial by a integer. And this is a 8 cross 8 multiplication. This 8 cross 8 multiplication we have broken down into 3 4 cross 4 multiplication by Karasuba. Then again we use Karasuba to break down this 4 cross 4 multiplication into 3 2 cross 2 multiplication. And this 2 cross 2 multiplication has been computed using school group method. Um, in our multiplication method, we didn't use the Karasuba totally or the school group method. So normally we call it this is a hybrid method. On the other hand, car 255 uh, nine, uh, sorry, sorry uh, on the prime field 255.19 and 266.3, the elements are represented using 10 limb polynomial. So we can break, we have bro uh, broken down this multiplication into 3 5 plus 5 multiplication by Parasuma. Now, if we represent a um, 5 limb polynomial using this fashion, then again the multiplication becomes like this. Well, this is a integer multiplication. This is a multiplication of a 4 limb polynomial by an integer and this is a 4 plus 4 multiplication. For our purpose, we have broken down this 4 plus 4 multiplication into 3 2 plus 2 multiplication and each of these multiplications are computed using school group method. Now for the other features, uh, we have used SIMP parallelization for ladder step and the Kumar line arithmetic is totally x coordinate based arithmetic and we have mod used Montgomery ladder to implement the scalar multiplication. This x coordinate based implementation and Montgomery ladder based implementation led us to a constant time implementation. The time I am going to show you in the um, uh, few slides later, those slides, uh, those time contents includes the timing of computation x by j. That means that our output is in f coordinate. We have computed the universe in uh, using fixed addition chain by p minus 2. The ports are publicly available here. For our experiment, we have used two different platforms, Haswell architecture and Skylet architecture. The operating system was 64-bit Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. We have compiled our code using GCC version 5.4.0. For SIMD parallelization, we have used Intel AVS2 Intrinsics. During our experiment, the turbo boost and hyperthreading were turned off. We want the cache using 25,000 iteration. The recorded time is the median over 100,000 iteration. Now we read the timings from the timestamp counter of the CPU to RAS and RDS register by RDTS instructions. This is a comparative study of the variable based scalar multiplication over Haswell architecture. Notice that these human lines are all faster than NIST curve 255 line to 256. On the other hand, the human line K1 and K2 are faster than car 255 19, but K3 is slightly slower uh, than this one. On the other hand, this 4Q, Kuma surface and Koblich curve, these three curves are not in the conservative setup as we define, but I have included these results here due to the sake of completeness. In this slide, I have included all the competitive results of the Kumar lines and car 19 whether the fixed base scalar multiplication or variable base scalar multiplication on two different platforms. Notice that the Kumar line 1, K1, uh, provides uh, two less bit security than car 19 but these are at, more, at most 25% faster than the car 19 now, in this picture shows the uh, comparisons in on the Haswell architecture for fixed base scalar multiplication, all the Kumar lines are much faster than CAR 250 and 90, uh, but for the variable base 
As I said earlier, K1 and K2 are faster than CAR 250 and but K2 is slightly slower. But for the scalar, but uh, for the um, Skylake architecture, all the fixed base and variable base scalar multiplication, uh, the Kumar lines are much faster than the CAR 250 and In From these results, uh, we can conclude, we suggest that if someone is ready to sacrifice two bit of security, then they can they can gain uh, around 25 uh, percent of uh, speed up using Kumar line one. On the other hand, if they do not want to sacrifice any security, then K3 can give us the uh, speed up and also give us the six extra bit of security. Now I summarize my work in this slide. The, our work is based on the previous proposition of Kumar line by Gordian Rubin in 2009. We propose Kumar lines where the three uh, concrete Kumar lines where the legendary, associated legendary graph satisfy all the necessary security conditions. These Kumar lines has small base point and also small parameters. The, uh, the Kumar uh, uh, ladder or the Montgomery ladder or Kumar line supports SIMD parallelization which led us to a constant implementation on the other hand this implies that these scalar multiplication on the Kumar line are side channel lateral resistance. The proposed Kumar lines are faster than CAR 250 and if we have the SIMD and these are practical and deployable. The full version of this work is available at ePrint. Thank you for your all attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so we have 15 minutes for questions, so I want to hear lots of questions. There's one back there from Hussain. Just, yeah, just shut it up. Have you considered Tunku partitioning for the multiplication part? Sorry? So the question is, have you considered Toom Cook? Yeah, we have uh, implemented those using Toom Cook, but those were uh, much slower than this hybrid method. So we, at the end, we discarded that method. Anyone else? Any rooms? So I've got a question, since you're using squared coordinates, yeah. so is it really one-to-one -one your um, Kumar representation or is it like corresponding to a pair of curve points? A pair of um, points on agent curve. Yeah. Sorry, it's always a pair of points because the y coordinate is a yeah. multiple yeah. of points because yeah. you're doing a squared representation. Yeah, but um, the thing is that if we use the square coordinate on Kumar line or do not use, but at the end, it will give us the x coordinate, not the square x coordinate in the legendary curve. So that doesn't make uh, any difference. But on the other hand, if we use the square coordinate setup for Kumar line, it gives us a lot more uh, number of uh, legendary curve on the which satisfies the necessary security condition. So it is, and it doesn't create any problem for the arithmetic too. So it is, I think that square only setup is good for the Kumar line. Mm -hmm. Is it related to like these um, uh, like generalized Jacobian coordinates and they have like a z squared in them for is it something related to this or, or is it something completely different? Mm. You can find here. You see that uh, here we have defined this thing as a theta 1 and theta 2. This is x and z, mm -hmm. not x squared and z yeah. squared. But when we are using a square and b square here, and we can use also a and b here, but by, uh, you know, you see that uh, by this relation, yeah, this relation uses a to the r4, b to the r4. So if we, if we use a, where this terms has to be this way, and if we use a square, then a can be a quality residue or cannot be. Then we have lots more um, legendary curve which satisfies the necessary security condition. So we have lot more options to choose the Kumar line. But even though you can uh, use this a square b square, you can easily find the point theta 1, theta 2, x and z. And notice that in this arithmetic, if you remove this square part, then you will get the x3 and z3. And now, as we define a square and b square, so we have we are stick to the square only coordinate. Any other questions? Uh, yep. Uh, your work 
considered 108 bits a cubic, would it be difficult to extend this to other skewed levels? Yeah, we are planning to. Um, our next objective is at least 5 to bit security. But uh, for the present moment, when we are working, uh, we consider 128 bit security <coughs> because there is the cut 250 and 90 with which we can compare our work uh, concretely. But for the prime 12 bit security, we do not have such a concrete curves and we didn't want it to compare with the least curve. So we are thinking to go that way, but okay, in, in near future. I mean, does it require uh, computing other uh, Kuma line things or just another implementation? Uh, that will be just fine. Uh, the theory will be same. So that will be finding new Kumar lines which satisfy the new security constants and the implementations. Okay, one additional uh, request. The link for implementation was missing in the AsiaCrypt uh, downloadables. So Sorry? The link for the implementation was missing in the actual paper uh, downloadable. Uh, to check it. To okay. It. Could you show it again? Okay. This one? No, it is the URL. Uh, oh, link. sorry. Link. Link. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed at the end. Yeah. <laughs> that is, we are sorry for because, yeah, I found it yesterday night, so. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, let's thank the speaker and now it's lunch break.